for today's lesson, let us talk about sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. We determined that the roots of a quadratic equation can be obtained using the following methods. It can be done using extracting square roots, by factoring, by completing the square, and even the use of quadratic formula. This time, let us determine the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. First, determine the sum and product of the roots of x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. So using factoring, it will lead us to a solutions or roots which are positive 3. So to get the sum of the roots, all we need to do is to add these two. 3 plus 3 equals 6. The sum of the roots is equal to 6. While the product of the roots, that is to multiply our two solutions. So 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Let's have the second one. Determine the sum and product of the roots of x squared minus 64 equals 0. So again, this is done by factoring. And we obtained that the solutions are negative 8 and positive 8. Here, the sum of the roots would be negative 8 plus 8, which is equal to 0. While the product of the roots, it is negative 8 times 8, and that is negative 64. Let's have the third one. Determine the sum and product of the roots of x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals 0. In this case, we solve the roots using completing the square. So the sum of the roots would be negative 2 plus square root of 11 plus negative 2 minus square root of 11. To simplify our expression, that is the same as negative 2 plus square root of 11 minus 2 minus square root of 11. Here, our radical square root of 11 and negative square root of 11 can be cancelled out for the reason that if we are trying to combine it, the result will be 0. So negative 2 plus negative 2, the result is negative 4. So the sum is negative 4. On the other hand, the product of the roots would be negative 2 plus square root of 11 times negative 2 minus square root of 11. Using FOIL method, Let's simplify. First, multiply the first term. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. Negative 2 times negative square root of 11, that is positive 2 square root of 11. Square root of 11 times negative 2, we have negative 2 square root of 11. And multiplying positive square root of 11 times negative square root of 11, that is negative 11. So here, 2 square root of 11 and negative 2 square root of 11 can be cancelled out because they are the same but differs with their sign. Let's simplify 4 minus 11. The result is negative 7. Here, the product of the roots would be negative 7. Let's try to compare our answers. Here, the equation is x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Its sum is 6 and the product is 9. While x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals 0, sum is negative 4, and product is negative 7. While x squared minus 64 equals 0, sum is 0, and product is negative 64. If we are to compare our equations, here the value of our a is equal to 1, while the sum reflects the value of our b, but differs with the sign. So we notice that if our a is equal to 1, it follows that the sum of the roots would be the value of our b, but differs only with the sign. While the product reflects the value of our c. In our equations, c are 9, negative 7, and negative 64, and that appears on our product. 9, negative 7, and negative 64. Let's try to have the next example. Determine the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equals 0. We determine the roots using factoring. So here, the sum of the roots now would be negative 5 plus 3 halves. Combining our whole number and fraction, it will lead us to negative 10 plus 3 all over 2. 
So, the simplified form is negative 7 halves. On the other hand, the product of the roots would be negative 5 times 3 halves. So, rules in multiplying fractions, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, simplifying this, it is equal to negative 15 all over 2. Let us have the next one. Determine the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared plus 12x plus 16 equals 0. Get the roots using completing the square. We came up with the roots negative 2 and negative 4. The sum, therefore, it's negative 2 plus negative 4, and that is negative 6. While the product of the roots would be negative 2 times negative 4, the result is 8. Let's try to compare the equation, the sum, and product of the roots. First, 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equals 0. Here, sum is negative 7 halves. Product is negative 15 halves. Second, 2x squared plus 12x plus 16 equals 0. Sum is negative 6 and product is 8. It is easier for us to determine sum and product of the roots because it is already presented after we derive the solutions and roots using the different methods. The question is, is it possible to determine the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation without using the different methods? With this, join me as we derive the equation on how to determine the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation without solving the roots itself. So we use quadratic formula in deriving roots of a quadratic equation. In the form, x is equal to negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. To get the sum of the roots, what we did is we add the two solutions, negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if we are to add these terms, it follows we can cancel out square root of b squared minus 4ac and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac. While combining negative b and negative b, the result is negative 2b. And we copied our denominator which is 2a. So we can cancel out 2. What is left is negative b over a. So we can obtain the sum of the root using the expression negative b all over a. This time for the product of the roots, all we need to do is to multiply negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a to negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We simplify, the result is b squared plus b square root of b squared minus 4ac minus b square root of b squared minus 4ac minus quantity of square root of b squared minus 4ac squared all over 4a squared. So we simplify the numerator using the FOIL method. Then we cancel out b square root of b squared minus 4ac and negative b square root of b squared minus 4ac Likewise, the radical in square root of b squared minus 4ac squared. Because rules in radicals, if our index and exponent is the same, we can cancel it out. What is left is b squared minus quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Then, we simplify this as b squared minus b squared plus 4ac all over 4a squared. Here, we can cancel out b squared and negative b squared for the reason that they have opposite sign. What is left is 4ac all over 4a squared. So we can factor out 4a. What is left is c over a. Therefore, this is the expression used to determine the product of the roots. So again, if we are to compare our answers a while ago, here's the result. This is the sum and product when we solve it using different methods. And this would be the solution if we will utilize the expression. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Here, 
some of the roots can be done using the expression negative b over a. So here, b is negative 6, while a is 1. So negative times negative 6, the result is 6, all over 1, that is equal to 6. Here, if we are trying to compare, the sum is the same. While the product of the roots, we have the expression c over a. In this equation, c is equal to 9 and a is equal to 1, the answer is 9. Again, comparing the answers, they are the same. This time, let us have the second one. Let's get the sum of the roots of x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals 0. Again, using the expression negative b over a. Here, b is 4, so we can write negative 4 all over 1. Then the simplified form is negative 4. Comparing our answers, they are the same. While for the product of the roots, again, we will utilize the expression c over a. c is negative 7. And our a is 1. Simplified form, it's negative 7. Again, the answer is the same. For the third one, our equation is x squared minus 64 equals 0. Sum of the root, we will utilize again the expression negative b over a. In this case, b is 0 all over 1. So there is no positive or negative 0. So the result is 0. So comparing our answers, they are the same. While for the product of the roots, again, utilize the expression c over a. So c is negative 64, a is 1, then the result is negative 64. For our fourth example, our a is greater than 1. Again, using the expression negative b over a. So b is 7. So we have the expression negative 7 all over. a is equal to 2. That's why we have a denominator of 2. Then the simplified form, it's negative 7 all over 2. Please be reminded if our answer is in terms of fraction and there is a negative symbol, in our final answer, it will be written aligned with our fraction bar as our final answer. For the product of the roots, we will utilize the expression c over a. c here is negative 15 and again our a is 2. So final answer is negative 15 all over 2. Again, comparing our answers to the previous one, the result is still the same. And lastly, 2x squared plus 12x plus 16 equals 0. So the sum is obtained using the expression negative b all over a. b here is 12, so we have negative 12 all over 2, which is the value of our a. Simplifying it, that is negative 6. So comparing our answers, they are the same. While the product of the roots, again, utilize the expression c over a. c is 16. A is 2, so simplifying it, that is equal to 8, where the result is the same to the previous one. This time, it is your turn. Try to determine the sum and product of the roots of the following quadratic equation. Thank you so much. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.